Hello and welcome back to a new video. I can promise you that I'm not about to tell you a scary story despite the lighting, but what I do have is a lamp with a pillowcase over it providing me with light because I'm actually filming at nighttime, which I never do. The reason why I'm filming at nighttime is that I haven't really been feeling great the past couple days, so I haven't been filming. And today the new Eco Lifestyle pack came out and I have just purchased it and downloaded it and it just finished installing. And I've also just updated my game as well so that the whole process took about 40 minutes. I've already drank one tea and I have another one with me ready to go because yeah it's pretty cold but yeah so please excuse the lighting but I'm just filming at night which I don't normally do it's like quarter to 9 p.m right now <laughs> normally when I film I film during the day as I said and I have had about two coffees and I'm like ready to go I normally drink a coffee right before I film so I feel like I'm caffeinated so I'm not really caffeinated right now I generally will be going to bed within the next like hour or two so just bear with me but what I'm planning on is that the excitement of the new game is going to make me uplifted and pumped and excited and I am feeling very excited. So yeah, obviously this pack is very controversial, but I personally am really excited for it. It looks like it comes with a lot of gameplay and stuff, which I think is really cool, and a lot of new things that we haven't had in The Sims before, which I'm really excited about. So I just thought that I would open the game with you for the first time, and we could create a sim, and then maybe just do a little bit of gameplay. I might do it in a two-part thing. We'll just see how it goes. I have just installed it. As you can see, I've just opened it up. It says, welcome to The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle. And then it tells you a little bit about what's going on. We've got some screenshots here of gameplay. I think we're just going to start a new game. Don't know why I clicked the load game if we're starting a new game. Okay, so I have opened up Create a Sim. I'm just having a little squiz through all of the new items and all of the new things that we've got and I'm feeling very overwhelmed so I think I'm just going to create a new sim and then I'll show you the final product because I'm sure you have seen from other people what comes with the pack and everything like that so I don't want to bore you with those details because I feel like you've probably seen that 10 times and I'm just going to create a sim and then I will show you the results because I have a feeling this is going to take me a long time because I'm really excited but what I can see so far is that I love the hairstyles but I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay it has been Sometime. I don't know what the time is because I don't have my phone in here. This is our sim. Her name is Nia. I went through and created her a whole bunch of outfits using the new Eco Living pack. She looks real cute. I am a huge fan of the feminine clothes and the hair. I haven't looked at the masculine stuff yet, but the feminine stuff is absolutely beautiful and I kind of want to make another female sim so I can use more of the clothes and sort of create another type of style. Yeah, I'm a big fan of all the clothes I chose for her. I tried to sort of switch it up a little bit, but also keep it very similar because obviously she probably has one style that she likes. So yeah, I've done a whole bunch of different outfits for her. I love this dress. I need to put shoes on her. I forgot to do that. I'll do that in a second. Um, some pajamas, party wear, swimwear. There's no new swimwear, so I just use one from Seasons. This is her summer wear, and this is her winter wear, which is really cute. So I'll quickly just grab some shoes for her formal wear because I almost forgot. They're a little bit fancy. Uh, I feel like I should find ones that aren't too fancy. That's kind of less fancy. Anyway, cool. So I think we'll just start some gameplay. I played a little bit with the new MAC makeup as well that came with the update. It's very interesting. I think there's one lipstick that I like and then maybe two eyeshadows that I like, but a lot of it's a lot. I feel like we just want some like nice modern makeup to put on our sims and a lot of it's just very old or very like obscure. But anyway, I think we're going to start playing in spring because spring's lovely. All right. And we've got the new town of Evergreen Harbour. This is my first time going in. I'm very excited. Okay, so I guess, where do we live? Where do we start? Should we live in a house or apartments? I guess we should see what we can afford. I feel like living in a house would be ideal right now because then we can use a lot more of the sort of stuff that comes with it. But I know this town is very clean. This is neutral and then this is industrial. So I haven't actually seen this house. I'm just gonna go and look at this house because I haven't seen it yet. I really like the, <laughs> I don't want free earbuds. <laughs> they came with a new update. They did it so they like call you less or something like that. Yeah, so what I do want to look at is I just want to look at this house real quick. There are also apartments included in this pack as I quickly brushed over there. So if you don't have city living, you can still have apartments if you have this pack, which I think is really, really cool. Because I personally really like living in apartments every now and then. I think it's a little fun and I personally live in an apartment. So this would give me the opportunity to make my apartment in real life. Okay, yeah, I think we're just going to start in this because it is a house. It's in a neighborhood that definitely needs to be cleaned up. There's a lot of trash around, but it's not completely trashed. And I also haven't seen anyone play in this lot, obviously, because it's very basic, but I think I want to utilize a lot of the items, and I think this is the best 
sort of place to start rather than living in an apartment where you can't really utilize a lot of the items. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly tell you the personality traits that I gave her. Oh, this is the new thing about the neighborhood action plans. Cool, so the traits that I gave her was recycle, disciple. These sims are rapid recyclers that benefit from recycling and rummaging for bits and pieces. But should they go too long without indulging in their hobby, um, they obviously get annoyed. A maker, these sims become happy when making things. They become sad when it's been too long since completing a project on a fabricator, candle making station, juice fizzer, or woodworking table. They do not receive negative effects from crafting or rake repair failures. That's really good. Musa. Muses get better boosts from their skills when they're inspired. Oh, that came from the creativity aspiration that I did. And then creative sims. These sims tend to be inspired, can share creative ideas with other sims, and may become upset if they're not creative for a period of time. I thought that would just be helpful with her being a fabricator. Her aspiration is a new one, and it's the master maker. Your sim wants to become an expert at fabrication. Yeah, I'm wanting her to like make stuff obviously <laughs> um i don't know if you know but i used to work for a kombucha company and now in the sims you can make kombucha so that's really fun i'm definitely gonna get her to do a bit of that i am gonna maybe quickly finish her house a little bit this looks like a really cute neighborhood it's like a very realistic looking neighborhood i feel uh, obviously there's a lot of trash and stuff around which isn't nice but we can we can repair this we have the technology so i'm just gonna go into build and buy build and buy build boat <laughs> Oh, we've got some new new rooms. This is so cute. That is such a cute bathroom. I love it. I don't know why, but it's ever since like like since I just updated my game, it's like registered that I've got a whole bunch of new packs, but that's just simply not true. I only bought one today. The house is obviously very simply furnished because the houses that come with the games are always simply furnished. It looks like there is a lot of new items, which is really exciting. Obviously, you do expect that when you buy an expansion pack, but oh, I just realized we have no money. I didn't want to do a rags to riches, so I'm just going to give her some money. Uh, testing cheats. True. And then I want to do money. 15. Okay. I didn't want to mother load her and give her heaps, so just stick with that. Okay, I'm going to refurnish her house because I want to pick the items that come in the house. If we need more money, we need more money, that's fine. I just want to play around with the new stuff. I don't want to be restricted with money. Ugh, this is like tall ceilings. I was like, why is it staircase so long? It's because the ceilings are tall. Anyway, let's go upstairs and we'll start with the bedroom. What is this? It's kind of really cute. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. So that's kind of really cute. I actually really like it. Hmm, I want a double bed though. Oh, this is actually really cute. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, this is actually like my new favorite bed in The Sims 4. I love it. Okay, bedside tables. What have we got? Pieces of you. That's actually really cute. Loving all the pastel colors. Like, it's really bringing me life. This is such a cute table. Go off, sis. Oh, we've got so many new plants because it's an eco living pack, which just means plants, which means eco. <gasps> Look. Oh, just, I'm just living my greatest life here. Hello? Oh my god. Oh, look at this. Sorry, I'm overwhelmed. Okay, let's pick... Oh, this is... This is friggin' sick. This is sick too. I'm really rating the stuff that this pack comes with. Even if you don't like the idea of the gameplay in this pack, I gotta say, the stuff it comes with really are great. Like, honestly, to be honest. I had to say it. I've watched so much Vixella. I've got to the point where I'm re-watching her streams because I've already watched them all. <laughs> That's kind of really cute. I do like this light that's in this room. This is cute too. This is interesting. This is nice. This is not nice. I don't rate that. <laughs> okay. Uh, is this a new rug? I want to discover rugs for myself. Don't tell me what I have. I just want to look. <gasps> okay. Oh, I just kind of got hungry. Has nothing to do with what we're doing here, but I just kind of got hungry. Uh, also, fun fact, windows can now be placed anywhere. Have curtains always been able to be placed anywhere? Do you really like these curtains? Wish they came in a lilac to match with this bedding. Maybe should I make the bed yellow? I kind of don't want to make the bed yellow. Oh, but it kind of, kind of looks really good. <laughs> kind of sort of. I've kind of just made everything the same color, haven't I? Okay, what's this? What color does this come in? Since we did not check. Oh, <gasps> comes in purple. It's okay. We're not doing purple. Like, and this isn't your room. It's someone else's room. Oh. 
the plants in this game. <gasps> oh my god, everything is beautiful. Imagine what it's going to be like when we get nifty knitting stuff. Just imagine the aesthetic of everything. It's going to be so freaking cute. Okay, does it come with artwork? I'm going to do a bit of this. It doesn't, it doesn't come with any paintings. I find that obscure. It also doesn't come with any sculptures. Oh, this is kind of cute. This is kind of a vibe. Do we want this in here? Do we need a couch in our room? No. Are we going to have one anyway? Yeah, bitch. We're apparently living large. Oh, water consumption rating. It's like a space age toilet. Don't have any new showers, but we do have a new bath. Kind of really cool. Kind of really digging it. We've got two new sinks. Oh, I like that. That is nice. That's a nice sink. I don't think it goes with what I just put in the bathroom, though. Why would you bring in a really cute sink that doesn't go with what you've got? I guess this one kind of does go, but... We'll just get some toilet paper because I kind of need it. Oh, I probably should have put the toilet against the wall. <laughs> How are you going to get your toilet paper otherwise, guys? Oh, should I get a laundry in here too? We know I love a good laundry, don't I? I love a good laundry. I am going to put the sink on the window like that. And I am going to hate myself for it. But I need I need a laundry. Uh, washing machine. I know it's not eco living, but it goes with the vibe. So we will be doing it. Oh, look at all these new things. Okay, let me just, real quick. While we've got it, uh, we've got a household power generator. No more home fabricator. We will get one just because. Then we've got a water generator. We've got a home recycler. She's just going to have all this shit in her yard because she's an eco queen. We've got a solar panel. We've got a dew collector. There is a fancy one. There's a pro one. Okay, it's like medium. Because then you've also got this water generator, which I think is just very fancy. So why don't we just start with like medium tier. Let's not get too carried away. And what we will get as well is a solar roof thing. Where do you actually put it? Can't intersect with the roof. What do you mean? Oh, it's a ground one. This is a roof one, right. Wow, they're really expensive. Okay, whoops, they're like $850 each. We've also got a wind turbine. Go off, sis. I am fully aware that this video is very messy. I am just very excited and very overwhelmed with new things. I've never actually got a new pack and then like recorded myself discovering it for the first time because I mean, it kind of makes sense why you wouldn't do that because we're seeing that in real life action right now. Okay, there is, this is a really cute little area but we're running out of room uh, and I do want a candle making station. Okay. I think we successfully fit everything I wanted in this teeny tiny yard with the greenest, greenest not textured grass I've ever seen in my life. I think we're done with this upstairs section. Uh, we do need towels though, like on the wall. I'm going to put that there. That comes with a uh, tiny living, a vibe. And then I will grab this, which is from laundry day. That does not match. <laughs> okay. That doesn't match either. This, <laughs> this whole bath toilet scenario is just so extra and it just does not match, but it's fine. We're just going to leave it. Oh, let's get a little hand towel. Okay, there we go. Let's go downstairs. Oh, we've got that rug down here. Let's quickly create a little living area. I'm not doing anything quickly and we, we know that well and truly. Let's just get the eco lifestyle pack. I do want another one of these couches. Maybe we could do a different color scheme downstairs. Let's go with the blue. I do like that actually. That's really nice. Oh, we've got some new coffee tables. Beautiful, stunning, innovative. I do like that, but I'm like, it's very big. Okay, I think we have enough room if I do that though. It doesn't come with any TVs. I'm not surprised. Eco Footprint Industrial 5. Okay, it's not good for the environment, but it's really cute. I think we'll hold off for the time being. We do have some little corner chairs, which are kind of really cute. It's a very small living room. <laughs> it doesn't come with any bookshelves. I'll just quickly, I feel like it could have came with a bookshelf, you know, it's not come to the city living. Does it match? Not at all. What about this one? It's kind of industrial looking. Yeah, let's keep that one. I like that. Let's grab a TV. Oh, we're we running out of money. Oh, there's like everything has a power consumption rating. No wonder why this pack is like a an expansion pack because it just comes with so many things. Let's do 10,000. We'll just get a small TV because we're not trying to be flashy. We want to be somewhat simple. Do you think? It's a lot. I know it's a lot. Let's do that. That's a lot. Oh. oh, look at this. This is beautiful. We have to put that outside. That is stunning and not centered. That looks so stupid. 
Okay, but what if? Okay, I mean, <laughs> it's too much. It's too much, it's simply just too much. Okay, we do need like a planter though, don't we? Yeah, we need this. Let's get a dark timber. We will get one of the, well, some of these, not one. I'm gonna get more than one because we're gonna grow some stuff. An insect farm. You know, I'm not sure about it. I am gonna think about it. We've got this lounge chair, which is interesting to say the least. Okay, sorry about that. I had to delete some footage off my camera, but we're back. I'm just putting some curtains in. This house is cute. Uh, Eco lifestyle did not come with any new kitchen counters, which is pretty disappointing. I'm just gonna use these like semi-industrial ones because I do, I do like them. They're really cute. Everything has consumption ratings, so you've got like electricity, like power consumption, water consumption, because the bills are more complicated. I definitely want more of these plants because I really loved them. Do you think we could put this in anywhere or is that just inappropriate? I just really like it. Or oh, should we put these in here? Let's put the balls up real quick. Oh, we love to see it. Oh, they're not gonna fit. What the hell? I'm gonna put the bin in the corner. I don't know why there is this little corner here. It's kind of really odd. I was gonna put those there. I'm gonna delete those. We don't have anywhere to eat. So let's see if we can find a table. We have a table, but it's huge. Maybe we'll get this one. I am gonna move this door over like that. So we can have a little tiny dining area. I do you like these chairs a lot? I do. Can I change the car this table? I can't believe it doesn't come with any new artwork, you know? Come with any of this kind of stuff. Oh, these are really nice. Oh, I like that, actually. We've also got this and this and this. <gasps> that is cute. What else does it come with? We've got some paintings. We've got this leaf thing. There's quite, actually quite a few wall pieces. It's just that they're not like in the artwork section. They're just sort of in a different section. Wait, it does come with some of these too. We've got a laundry wicker hamper. I actually think that's so cute. A pergola to protect your stuff from getting weathered. What is this? Travel with plants. <gasps> oh, that is, that is so nice. A little birdhouse. Okay, I will I will redo this yard. I'm just kind of really excited over the cool stuff that comes with the pack. Well, I think our house is done for now. Oh, I am gonna put a fire alarm in because if we do have a fire, there are firemen now. So I'm just gonna chuck that in here. You know, better to be safe than sorry. That's what they always say, you know? I think that's it. I'm just gonna probably leave it at that now. I feel like I've been playing for ages because I was making her as a sim. These vertical planters, I'm very excited for. So I quickly just bought some stuff to put in there. Okay, so this was basically like my first look through on the pack. Look through, is that what I'm looking for? Anyway, yeah, so far I'm really excited to play the game. I'm excited for the different gameplay that you can do. I love the creative stuff that I've seen so far and I love the new items as well. I love the general aesthetic of the game and I'm just, I'm excited. Oh, we've got someone rolling up at our front door. Knox Greenberg, he's an eco master. Uh, okay. Anyway, I am going to leave this video here for now just because I don't want it to be too long. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will definitely do a part two of some gameplay with Nia because I think she's a really cool sim and I'm just excited to get into it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and, you know, leave a comment down below. What do you think so far? Have you downloaded the pack yet? And I will see you again soon.